So one of the great things about all these different microphones is they all have very different personalities and distinct sounds. So even on a great vocalist, putting a different mic on them will accentuate different parts of their voice, the characteristics of it. And, and I actually really enjoy that when I'm working on a record for the, with someone for the first time, just finding the, the, the mic that just makes them sound even more unique and special. Now, um, it's funny, as I'm looking at these mics, I actually see the faces of the people that I recorded with that, that sung on these mics because they're, I've, they're so closely bonded in my mind. So um, this here is a CMV, which is a great tube mic, and it's something I discovered more recently, but we used a lot with Yeba on her record. And Yeba has such a beautiful voice, obviously, that she would sound great singing into a tin can. But the fact is that this really captured all her breathiness and then the full range. It was just the perfect mic for her and she loved it. The other great thing is when you put a singer in front of a great mic, they hear themselves in a way that they've never even heard. You can tell someone's on the headphones and they're delivering a performance and you can tell that they're so excited or maybe it's once they listen to the playback that they've never heard themselves sound so clear and so present. So that's always what you're looking for. You know, it's a combination of the, the vision and the sound you have in your head as the producer, but also this thing that's going to make the singer feel like a superhero. This microphone right here, the RE16, is something that I used with Rufus Wainwright because Rufus has an incredible voice. I mean, he can sing opera in an opera hall without a microphone. I mean, he has so much power. He has a very specific tone and a characteristic in his voice, and we were trying to find the thing for the record that we made together out of the game that really suited the music, that suited his voice, and we found this, and it was the same thing. Once he heard it, he was like, wow, I've never heard myself sound like that, so it was very exciting. This is an SM7. This is probably the best of the all-arounders, like multi-purpose. This sounds great. This, this has a very directional mic, so you can even be using this in the control room while the speakers are blasting. I mean, you don't want to have it blasting too much, but you can have the singer right up on this mic and you can have the speakers playing and you're gonna be able to get a usable vocal performance out of this. Bono used this mic in the same way. Bono likes to have the speakers playing. I've never recorded with you two. I've just read this on a blog. Uh, Michael Jackson has done iconic vocals. I mean, obviously he's he loved the Sony mics, but he's also done vocals on the SM7. What I'm saying is it's just, it's a great all-arounder. It's great for hip hop. It's great for R&B. It's great for rock. And when you're recording a vocal, really the most important thing that you're trying to do is provide an atmosphere for the singer that makes them feel the most at home, the most comfortable, the most they can reveal themselves and sing out without even thinking about it. Some singers don't like being in the booth. Some singers, as soon as you put them in the booth, they feel far from the music, they feel removed, they feel suddenly like there's a big spotlight on them. You know, it's called red light fever once the record light starts going. Some people just want to be standing right next to you in the control room while you're there on the computer, on the tape machine, or whatever you're doing. And if that's the case, that's what you run with because it's all about getting the best performance. This is a great mic for that because this will work well in the booth. You know, some singers, as soon as you put headphones on them, they get vibed out. It's not the same thing. So they want to hear a little bit of the speakers, you know, and it's not really your job to be like, well, that's not what you're supposed to do. It's your job to just go with whatever is going to bring the best vibe to the recording. In that case, if you are recording with someone who just like doesn't get that vibe in the booth, then SM7 is a great mic. And then this RCA 77 is, is probably the first fancy piece of equipment that I ever got. And uh, it was because when we were recording the vocals for Back to Black, um, I discovered through the Dap Kings that this was this mic. And of course, I recognized it because it looks like you've seen it in the old pictures with Elvis and whatever else. But we put it on, on Amy and it just all the the most unique characteristics of her voice. It just brought them all out. And, you know, it's an old mic and it has a lot more hiss and air and characteristics and maybe something a little cleaner, but it was just so perfect for her voice. And, you know, this is a this is an incredible rhythm mic. We, we use it on horns, we use it on drums, we use it on anything. But when I look at this mic right here, like I really just think of Back to Black and Amy. What I thought would be interesting is even though Unfortunately, I can't sing to save my life. We'd just go down and you'd hear me on these mics just to hear some of the different characteristics. Because even just 
with my voice speaking on it, you can really hear the different tones and characters. So I want to hear them too. So let's do it. 